What's going on guys, it's Emil here, and today I'm bringing you a start of a new series that I kinda hinted at a little bit, and if I didn't, then my bad. But anyway, I've seen a lot of people doing Road to 9999VR, and obviously it's an interesting series, but I think it would be too easy for me to do something like that. So, I'm putting my own little twist on it. I'm doing Road to 9999 with a cart. Now, I'm expecting this to be a challenge, and that is exactly what I want from this. That I've always like kind of wanted to challenge myself in this game, which is why I picked up karting in the first place. And I figured it'll be fun, so as you can see, we're at 5,000 VR, we're gonna go into a CT Worldwide. Obviously, I'm gonna have to use Daisy Wildwing for the first episode, because that's only fitting, right? You know, that's just the only proper way to start this all off. But either way, I hope you guys really enjoy this idea. I'm sure it'll be a fun road to take. I'm not sure if I'll do anything in regards to sabotages. And I'm also not sure how often I'll get these out. I know for a fact I might be able to record a few of these with the current situation going on. A lot of people currently staying inside. Oh, this is a very small room. I'm not a fan of this. Wait, why are we getting a small room? I thought we'd get a big room. There are a lot of big rooms going on. We can actually get a small room? No way. Let me get out of that one. All right, I'll probably um, I'll probably just cut it to whenever I get into a room. So let's see when that happens. All right, well we got into a pretty big room on the next try. So let's see who we have in here. So I'm obviously Cart Mom for this. Japo Futuro, Champ, Player, another player, Leonardo, Mickey. Butterfly, Kitty Cat, Brandon, and GSD Max. Okay, I don't know how to feel about this room. This is going to be a little interesting for sure, but I don't know. I don't know what to expect. When I'm on a cart, anything that can go wrong probably will go wrong, which is what I'm very scared about. And that's another really thing I'm another thing I'm really excited for with this because Usually when I'm playing races, I'm just relying on my driving to carry me through every race. And from the looks of it, these guys are currently on lap two, considering looking at the timer and all that. But um, either way, I think this is going to be a great learning experience for my item usage, especially as we get into higher VR rooms in the future of this. So that's going to be a lot of fun to do. I think it'll be a great experience because I've never really been good with my item usage and I kind of want to build up on that so I think if I just like work on that throughout this this is going to be a great way for me to start learning that and I can like apply it to other online gameplay such as wars and all that you know the stuff that I'm able to do so I think those are I think that pretty much covered what I need to for the first part of this so since we're still on this um spectating screen I might as well just cover the fact I think what I'm planning to do as of now. I think I'm gonna be doing maybe six or seven races an episode for this, considering I am I can only be so sane throughout an entire custom track worldwide session. So I think the move is gonna to be to do about six or seven races. I don't think I'll be consistent with that amount, but six or seven is a pretty good starting point, I feel. If you guys have like an, a suggestion for me to change that up, let me know. I'm always open to suggestions for this type of thing. As for, and once again, sabotages, I'm not really sure how to handle. Where's player? All right, here's player. I think he's getting blued actually, so let's go back to this guy. Um, uh, This track's really long, by the way, so I have an, um, another maybe 50 seconds or something, maybe more actually to commentate this. So if you guys have any ideas for how I can implement sabotages into this, let me know because right now the only possible ideas I've really thought of are sprinter and jet setter because quite frankly any other cart won't really prove to be too much of a challenge well unless we factor in speed or something then it'll prove to be a challenge but leave any suggestions that you have down below and one thing that I feel people might ask I thank goodness I remember this before we got to the races this is going to be a mixture of custom tracks and regular tracks because I have experience in both and carting both of them are is really fun as well. So that's going to be all that. Anyway, 
thank you, and let's get to the races. Hope you guys enjoy. All right, first race, Delfino Island. Yo, someone's on Flame Flyer. I didn't even realize that. Well, that's probably what I should have expected when I only paid attention to two people. Anyway, I actually picked Delfino Island because this is one of my go-to tracks on karting because it is very fun for karts. Everything just like flows really well, pretty like nice and easy compared to most custom tracks. So, okay, so, ah, oh. shoot, already a ruthless start. Oh God, Mickey. Oh, so the cart person's actually using automatic and it's Kitty Cat. So Kitty Cat's actually a person I'm familiar with. I, I'm pretty sure they've been playing C2 World Rides for almost as long as I can remember, I think. Right, I'm going to try this and I'm probably going to regret it. Nice, I made it. Let's go, dude. All right. Let's see if we can keep a first place on this. And I, I messed up that car strap bad. Okay, we're chilling. I'm not going to get a super mini, though. That's that's what's very unfortunate about that. Ah, I can't get that shroom, dude. I don't know where that other guy went. Okay, this top four seems like it's going to be the one that's going to be held the whole time. Ah, uh, I thought I could hit that guy. Got this player guy off my tail somehow. But either way. Nice, we got the super mini. So what I, Yeah, so there, it's better to just, like, do a drift there to, um... Ooh. It's a shroom. Really good for my counter drift. So, in case you guys are wondering how I got into karting, yeah, I did kind of do it to challenge myself. And if that does sound familiar, it's because I'm, if I remember correctly, that's how Astro Star got into karting as well. And I, Astro Star was a huge inspiration for me to get into karting. Okay, I think I'm on the right track now. Nah, I'm just gonna be doing this. Oh, he failed. Nice, I think we're running away with this one. I just gotta not choke. Oh, Shroomin' first. Nice, dude! Easy every time. Alright, so I actually got into carts back in like 2013 when I first got CTGP on my Wii U. And ever since I got CTGP, I just like watched Astro Star's videos. She had a constructive commentary series that was always really fun to watch. Okay, almost didn't dodge that. <laughs> Either way. Um, I was always watching Astro Star's constructive commentaries. If you guys are interested in seeing some of those, Astro Star has some really good tips for players that are starting to like get into the game. Players that want to get better at Wi-Fi. There's a lot of stuff in constructive commentaries, including a Mushroom Peaks tutorial. So if you guys are wondering about playing Mushroom Peaks, that's probably the best tutorial you'll find for that track on the internet. That's a, oh wow, that was good. <laughs> and that player guy just didn't get that cut at all. He just failed at three for three. Hate to see it. Hey, ground trim. Oh. Man, this track's so fun on a cart. Alright. I think we're yeah, we're definitely running away with this. And Kitty Cat's in like fourth. I really hope we don't Oh yeah. In case it wasn't obvious as well, I was kinda surprised by this. The room's hundred CC. But the VR is like fairly close to each other, so that's kind of odd, honestly. I don't know how to feel about that, but either way, taking home a first place right away in a room like this, I think we're going to get at least a plus 100, maybe a 150. Either one of those are going to be a really solid start, because obviously we're going to get really good starts when we're at the low VRs. It's only going to be an issue once we get to, I feel, maybe 7,500 or 8,000. Oh, 195. Oh, this guy is 8,000. I didn't even realize. Okay. That might be why it was uh, 100. Also, just Photoshop out that one and you have a pretty nice number. <laughs> and the room filled up. Okay, this is good. Because the more players we have, the more likely I am to gain VR for each individual race. And that's really what I want. I just want to be able to maximize my VR opportunities as much as I can. And right now, I'm just hoping that my commentary doesn't get corrupted. If it didn't get corrupted, obviously, you've already seen one race. But either way, I don't know what tracks to go because I really do know all of my tracks. But the problem is having other people that know how to drive them well. So we still have a big, a large variety in the VR here. And um, it's 100. So I think instead of a long track, I'm going to try to pick something shorter. 
that I know I can still run in a cart, and I had I had default layout for speed runs, so that's my bad. I'm gonna go Neverbia actually because Neverbia is a kind of small scale track that drives kind of chaotically, and that's what I really love about it. There's a lot of things to avoid. There's a lot of things you have to know about the track in order to properly go about it, and generally that's just really kind of nice. Also, one I will note that as I'm doing custom check tutorials, yes, I know that's one thing that people are kind of looking into. Since I'm bringing back custom track tutorials and I actually watched a few videos from a couple of people stating their opinions on the community and content creation, one thing I really saw was that peop that I should include carting in my custom track tutorials and i think that's going to be a pretty good approach i'm probably going to go by that if you guys have any more suggestions for like what to do in the track tutorials let me know i'm always open to those because i want to make the ct tutorials as like as well as i can like those those oh i actually hit him so those tutorials are meant for you guys like i want to be able to teach you guys the custom tracks that i've been accustomed to for a while like whether it be for months or for years even a couple days because like at the point that a custom track gets into ctgp i'm already familiar with it most of the time and that's just what i really love i love being able to teach custom tracks how am i not getting hit how am i not getting hit how am i not getting hit okay this is good now i can just back his green oh he tried Okay, this is a good start. Also, this track's really fun on a cart. I didn't realize it. I just gotta learn it properly. So what I think is the best way to approach this is probably just doing something like this. And then just releasing a mini turbo, letting myself fly. Yeah, that's probably the best line we can get. And just doing that. Yeah, that's a good line. All right. So right now, I think I'm just getting comfortable front runs, which is not really what I want. Oh, there we go. Oh, as I say it. Oh, there's the player guy. I'm gonna go wide here for a box. Nice. I can't force that hop, unfortunately. So in case you guys don't know, right there, getting air on the, um, the what, what do you call it? The hill? That's actually faster. So I need to be careful here. Nice, I got max. Ah, uh, okay, so player's gonna keep his lead for now. I'm actually gonna pull out my triple greens because I'm expecting him to back spam. Okay, no back spam. But I am drop. Okay, that's not. Oh, they dodged me, dude. Okay, well that changes everything. <laughs> okay, um, I did not expect a cannon in shock. I was kind of joking about that, but okay, I'll take it. <laughs> sure, why not? Why not? That's what we like to see, dude. Just getting those nice little shock dodges all the way up to first place, and hopefully, oh crap. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, nice, I killed him, let's go. Crap, and I got the air that time. Ah! Okay, this is scary. Unless I backspam him, let's try this. Oh, actually, I don't know if I should try it. Oh God. I need to pull up my fib here, otherwise I'm screwed. Another fib? Oh, he got pinballed. Oh, rip that player guy. Kind of getting screwed over two for two there. Nice, taking home two for two dubs though. That's what we like to see. Oh man, that was that was kind of intense, not gonna lie. I really choked with that pal lap three, but that worked out in my favor because I think the guy ran into my banana. Oh, that was a nice voice crack. I think the guy ran into my banana and because of that, I was kind of able to hold my lead over him. 228, jeez. Okay, these are gonna be, I'm, I don't know why I'm so surprised about these massive gains, but I guess that's just what I'm gonna have to expect for the very first like races of this. So, yeah. All right, so now we have mirror mode, which kind of confuses me because I did not expect anything besides like 100. And this track is gonna be very good for um, the players and anyone that's on a bike really, because I don't really have much opportunity to catch up to him. So I'm gonna have to like kind of rely on my lines here to see if I can maybe outline him and then use my super mini turbos to, you know, propel myself closer. 
And I can always pressure him with items too. That's always one thing I can do. Oh. I actually thought he was going to get me there. But if he has triples, I'm screwed. Oh, he tried. Hmm, I'll have to get rid of this guy. So it's... Crap. That's bad. Kitty Cat sent a Mega, so I can't really pressure her. So I'm going to have to try... Okay. Alright, so this is already kind of intense. Let's see if I can cheese a Mega, maybe. That's not a Mega, but I can pass that. Okay, okay, things are getting kind of crazy. So these are the types of tracks I was kind of worried about. So these ones are really broken for bike users because they have so many opportunities to just break away from me. Okay, now I think I have a little bit of a more peaceful time. Oh, that was a really bad snake, but it did give me a good SMT. Ooh, that's good. Oh, that fib's way too tight for anyone in this room, dude. Oh, nice, he's getting hit. Nice, nice. Okay, we're already making our way back up. I'm gonna hit this guy, unfortunately. Sorry, bro. I kinda wanna win, so. I wanna maximize, ooh. This is gonna be cruel, but oh well. Later, bro. Sorry, kitty cat. Use it again, dodge me again. Whoa! <laughs> that could happen? I n have never had that happen to me on this track before. I, I kid you not, that has never happened to me before. Oh god. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, we're living. We're, we're alive again. So I don't think I can get first. Oh, that's nice. W what just happened? Alright, so I can just use- Okay. Kitty cat? Wait, why didn't kitty cat go for me there? Alright, you know what? Change of plan. I think we're just gonna go for third. I'm trying to wheelie bump this guy, but I can't. Ah, no, I can't wheelie bump him. But I did wheelie bump the other guy. Ah, Leonardo. Calm down, bro. Alright, I think I can keep third for sure. The only way- I Oh, God! They dodged player in first, but why? Hmm. Okay, I'm kind of confused. It's okay, it's okay. So we can st Oh, no box, that's gonna be huge. Okay. I'm, I'm saying okay a lot. <sighs> this is crazy! This is too crazy, bro. Just need a good item. Okay, that's not too good. But it'll get me away from these guys. That's bad. Never mind, we're good. All right, if we throw a blue now. Just gotta not hit anything. Oh God. Huh, somehow that, oh, okay. Oh no, Max had shrooms, dude. Oof. That was a long race and player got a huge breakaway, so. Yeah, tracks like that, the bikers are most likely going to get leads there. I don't know if I should be worried about that at the moment, considering we still get a plus 88. That's really solid for, I think that's the third race. Yeah, it's third race, so. Let's go four more in this room, I think. Yeah. Okay, whoever this player person is has a very interesting taste in tracks. He just picked SADX Twinkle Circuit and now Luncheon Tour? Okay, I think what I'm gonna try here is bagging for an item. Because shrooms on this track are broken. Perfect. Now, the fact that it's 100cc is kind of annoying. Oh wow, they almost got that. Alright. Try the rain. I don't know what this guy's name is supposed to mean, but oh well. Oh, you tried, dude. Okay, so this is actually the fast way to go. I don't. I, I, this is my first time driving this track with a cart, dude. Oh my god, guy's a bit slow, but I'm gonna have to live with it. All right, I'm gonna pass him here for sure. I think I can make it up there. Nice, I can, just barely though. Okay, nice, nice. I was really worried about that. I'm gonna try to get up by this player guy here. Okay, I think he has a free run at it, unless he gets blued. <gasps> or target shocked! 
Oh, shoot. That's a game changer. That's a major game changer. Just give me a super mini here. Nice. Okay, this is kind of scary, not gonna lie. Because on a track with this many tricks and the fact that it's 100cc... Oh, I thought that was gonna kill me. Okay, I gotta keep a watch on this guy because this is huge. Oh! Okay, I have to be very careful now. I didn't really bump. Oh, he tried! Okay, I have an idea. Oh, actually, no, no, that's a risky idea. Uh, nope. Oh, wait! Ah, oh, no, he hit a green. Oh god, he still has it. Alright, now if we get a blue, that would be perfect. Wait, where'd he go? Oh, there he is. Oh, he's lagging. He's lagging. Don't actually back me, bro. Ah, uh, yep. That was a tight race between player and I. I did not expect that shock to happen. I don't know what happened to the rest of the pack, though. Everyone else was just kind of really far away, which kind of confuses me because I think the layout of that track is very simple, but maybe the tricking and all of the gaps might, you know, catch people off track. That might be what it was. But either way, I'm, that was a pretty nice race, actually. I did not expect to keep up with player consistently, but then again, I think that's what I should expect when I have a track with a lot of tricks on it. Plus 139 for second, nice. Okay, so let's go for two more races in here. Okay, Qu Qu I'll be honest for a second. Going into the series, I expected myself to pick a lot of luck tracks and I was picking one, but I was nowhere near picking this because this track is the definition of crazy. Oh boy, this is, oh, this is our first encounter with a star, I think. Oh, don't you dare, bro. Ah, dang it. I can slip into first here. Nice, okay. Now, the, now, the, now it's just about keeping first. Oh, I got him. Huh. Hey, GSD Max. Really want to get near me, bro? Snipe. Oh, I thought I could have... Oh, my gosh. Oh, he better stay away from me, dude. This track's insanity, honestly. Like, five laps of this. Like, that's enough to drive anyone crazy. Did anyone dodge that? Oh, I think the guy... I think I used it, actually. So, I might be safe. But I gotta be very careful with how I use my items here. Oh... How did I not hit that wall? Oh, that piranha is also a major hazard. Okay, I don't know how I'm holding first, but anything can go wrong here. When I said the last track had a simple layout, that is nothing compared to the magnitude of simplicity here. Why am I overcomplicating this? Oh well. Either way, lap four, this is a good sign so far. Unless someone dodges. Actually, no, him taking first, I'm fine with that. Because he can take the blue. Yeah, I'm fine with him taking the blue, bro. Go for it. Oh, never mind. I guess I'm just going to keep slowing him. Huh. <laughs> you can't really pass me, honestly. Because if he tries passing me, he's just going to get slowed. I think. Oh, I hit someone with the Nana. All right. This is like kind of close. Anything that can go wrong will go wrong on this lap. Oh, I thought for sure that piranha was hitting me. That piranha is like a ninja. I swear. Oh, uh, this. Okay, this could be problematic. No way, he got screwed by it. Yes. I think that's a dub. I think this is the dub, baby. Woo. Nice. Okay, maybe I overestimated how crazy that track would be. Oh, that player guy is getting stomped on. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I saw his head spin up, but he quickly accelerated again, so that's pretty easy. All right. What, what are we getting for that? 182. Nice, nice. All right. Let's see 
if if we break into 6k next race i'll end the episode there oh my okay i think i'll end the episode with this one because this this track is just pure craziness oh oops <laughs> okay i thought i would get a box there i don't think i got a good cannon launch either okay so the only problem with this track really is that there are a lot of places is that oh that's actually oh never mind okay that, that's the only thing i was worried about but apparently the card's lightweight probably carries it through that but i'm expecting this player guy to get an easy first here unless he were to you know run to a pokey or get blue oh that's bad oh he tried huh not for sure oh this is oh he's getting blue okay let's see if i can do this first try i think Oh, hello. Oh, so I think my my knowledge of this track with a bike is probably going to transfer over to a cart. And that red didn't go for me. Oh, it is going for me. Okay. Okay. That makes sense. <laughs> I, I, I don't understand why that happens. Why? Do, if anyone can explain to me why that happens, I will love you. Oh, I got a really good cannon exit. Ah, oh, dude, that was my chance. No! <gasps> I'm alive. Oh, he's he's gonna fall behind a little bit. Oh, jeez. Okay. This just got a little bit more insane. Okay. Woo. Okay. Uh, this, oh gosh, dude, these items are just out to get me. I'm alive. How am I alive? How am I alive? I'm driving this so badly. Nice, that's really good. Oh, that's not good though. Shock, uh, no shock cancel. All right, I'm fine with that. Oh, not missing a mini turbo though. I'm gonna just go around this turn normally. Okay, I think that's the best way to go. Oh, he's going up there. No wonder he's losing time. That's why he's losing so much time at the beginning. If he didn't do that, he would be, like, still ahead of me. But no, he just decided to do that. Oh, he's doing that way too- oh. That was really bad. But somehow- okay, I need to- I need to look into that. That's really weird. So, like, doing that with a cart, you, like, you get a lot more air. No, that's not what I wanted. Oh, gosh. This is bad. I need a shroom here. Oh, I guess I just get it. <laughs> I need a good trick here. Please give me a trick here. Oh God. Dude, how am I still in second? Wait, I think I'm still getting first. <gasps> Come on. Oh no, I think he beat me at the last second. Ah, oh, dude. Rip. That's definitely gotta be. I think he got it. I think that guy got first. I think I just barely lost to him. Either that or I lagged him. Yeah, okay. You know, I think that's a good way to end it. You know, 5.9k, pretty solid. I think that's a good way to end it off. So guys, that concludes the first episode of this. I really hope you enjoy this idea. I'm probably gonna alternate track types between each episode. So next episode will probably be a regular worldwide. Anyway, thank you guys for watching this and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.